What's up guys, Acacia here, and last week I upped my monitor game by purchasing this recently released HP U28 4K HDR monitor, which has been presented as the reliable workhorse for those content creators and for those of us who like to spend a little time in Lightroom and Photoshop. So, is this the best 4K monitor for landscape photographers? So this video will be from the perspective of landscape and nature photography since that's what I mainly shoot. And to be fair and transparent, up until last week I was using an old Lenovo monitor so I'm fairly certain that any new 4K monitor on the market today would pretty much wow me. But I must say after using this monitor for a week that the HP U28 4K HDR monitor has really impressed me. I do have this monitor linked in the description below, but why don't we dive into the details? To get this right out of the way, if you're looking for a new 4K monitor for gaming, one thing to know is that this monitor only goes to 60 hertz. This monitor is more in line for those whose priorities center around creative work and color accuracy. Speaking of color accuracy, this monitor comes factory color calibrated across both the sRGB and the DCI P3 color spaces. It also has an always on blue light filter that keeps your eyes comfortable without affecting the color accuracy. The color menu offers seven presets and defaults to photography P3 D65. The U28 also has additional presets that us photographers will like, designed for web and designed for print, which both use the sRGB color space. When comparing the design for print preset with one of my photos I printed on satin luster paper from a professional print lab, I found the colors to be true, but the screen does display the shadows a little brighter. But overall, this gives me confidence in my print since I don't currently have a professional printer at home. I found the monitor very easy to assemble and required no tools. Start by grabbing the arm, inserting it into the back of the panel, snapping it in place. Then grab the base, insert it into the bottom of the arm, and then use the screw underneath to tighten it into place. And now you are all set and ready to go. One great feature is the U28 can connect to a PC using HDMI, DisplayPort, or USB-C. HP does this right by providing you with one cable for each. One downside is there is no built-in speakers, but the U28 does come with a 3.5mm headphone jack on the back of the monitor. This panel is virtually edge-to-edge -to, -edge to maximize your screen viewing with its three-sided micro-edge bezel. The ultra-wide 178-degree viewing angles also provided consistent detail and vibrant colors. I also found minimal to almost no glare with light coming in from my office window. So, now onto the cool things the U28 has to offer. The 28-inch monitor has a height adjustment range of 4.7 inches. It swivels 35 degrees side to side. Tilt. 23 degrees backwards and 5 degrees forward. Probably the coolest feature is that you can flip it 90 degrees into portrait mode. As a photographer, this is one of my favorite features and one of the things that drew me to this particular monitor. I've always struggled with editing my vertical photographs on the horizontal screen, but with the HP U28, Flipping it into portrait mode is relatively easy and allows me to really see my photos. To rotate the screen into portrait mode, you first want to make sure the monitor height is as high as it will go. Then tilt the screen forward, grab the lower 
left corner with one hand and the upper right corner with your other hand and start turning counterclockwise. The adjustability of the 35 degree swivel remains while in portrait mode. This is where I have my one gripe. This monitor will not automatically rotate the display like we are used to with our cell phones. You will need to go into the display settings and select portrait mode flipped. I found the easiest way to flip it to go to where I'm about to click my mouse on the option, rotate my screen, and then click flip. This prevents the ever so fun task of trying to control my mouse in a wonky position. Editing a vertical photo in Lightroom was fairly simple and really provided me with the opportunity to see my photo in a larger and more realistic way. To rotate it back to landscape mode, just reverse the steps. I have been using the U28 monitor for over a week now and I absolutely love it. The colors, the size of the screen, the micro edge bezels, the range of adjustability options really makes this a game changer for how I edit my photographs. I also found it equally easy to use for editing videos in Premiere Pro. If you are a photographer or content creator who is looking at upgrading to a new 4K monitor, I think the HP U28 4K HDR monitor is a serious contender. I really love this monitor and I can't wait to get back to edit some more photos. Thank you so much for stopping by and if you have any questions or comments, please leave those in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate you doing that before heading out. And until next time, have a wonderful day.